Beautiful sunrise this morning. We've got some boards here and what we call a tile core. I'll show you that here in a minute. We are back out at my brother's property again today. We're gonna do a little bit of work to this culvert here in just a minute. And then I got a bunch of lumber in the back of the truck as well. We're gonna to try to get that old abandoned roof drug off the collapsed cabin today as well. Do that one more, yeah, do it again. Yeah, keep going. First things first, so I'm gonna get the tractor started and I wanna go ahead and get the burn pit back up and going so we can try to get as much as that old rotted wood burnt today as possible. I feel like I forgot a couple words in there. This is your first time to the channel or the project. We did this little carport on the previous video and we started cleaning up this old abandoned hunting cabin that collapsed. Kind of picking through, saving some things that he wants to save, getting the scrap metal pile started so we can get that hauled off. And today we're gonna try to take this old roof, run some boards underneath and see if we can't save it and drag that out to lift up and build a shelter house at some point in the future. And all the old rotten wood we're just kind of burning and getting rid of. While the tractor warms up, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't get this thing back going. Hopefully that'll take off here in a little bit. And get some more of this old wood out of here. Let's go get started on that culvert. It's gonna be a bit of a job. And I'll kind of explain as we go. But the short version is I'm just wildly unprepared for what I'm supposed to be doing. What is in there now is a 20 foot culvert. Which makes an okay approach. But a little bit longer, the longer you have your culvert, the easier it is to get in and out of there. Like I said, this is called a tile core. Whenever you're watching Dirt Perfect, get those big 3,000 foot rolls of tile or whatever they are. The center of those tiles, they're all wrapped around one of these pipes in the middle. And all this is, is a double wall culvert that they just cut down to eight foot so that they can wrap that tile around something. That's why we call them tile cores. I think that makes sense. So the plus side is if you know a farmer, and I got this one from Farmer Chris, you can typically get these for free. Some people charge like 20 to 40 bucks for them as well, but you can get them for free or very inexpensive. The downside is they never have a bell or a tapered in. So we'll have to modify that one so we can slide that one up over it. And I'd like to get that end a little bit lower so the whole thing kind of fits in there a little bit nicer. I didn't realize he had these available whenever I had the case Minotaur out here. And yeah, there's a lot of pieces of equipment that would be better for doing this. But you guys know, this is a Run What You Brung channel. What we brung, brought, have here is a John Deere 755. So we're just gonna have to battle it a little bit in the name of saving money. And because everything's pretty frozen yet this morning, I'm going to take the forks and break up some of this stone.
Sometimes people ask me who did my quick attach. Neil Coke, this guy right here. He's the one that did my quick attach. Game changer. He's got several videos on on his channel, so check it out. Uh, he's just got a great channel. I just I would just check it out in general. We better move this. So on this back side, I just kind of undermined it. I'm going to take a little shovel, pull some of that rock out from underneath now, push a little bit from the back side, and get that a little bit deeper to where I want it. I would not recommend doing this with a single wall culvert. I say it every time we install culverts. Spend the money on a double wall. Those things are indestructible. I did say a little shovel. I'm just like five feet from having the whole thing loose. I might as well do that, no sense of fighting this one random pile of stone. Let's get the whole thing loose and get exactly how we want it. That looks a million times better. Definitely a little bit deeper now, so we should be able to get that in here and fit it in pretty nice. It's kind of, this is a pretty steep hill. It doesn't really show up on camera. So we're gonna be deeper on one end and kind of shallow on another so that the approach is somewhat level. We're just kind of trying to find that balance between the two. A little bit yet.
But that fits in there pretty good. I wouldn't say she's factory, but I think the water will go through just fine. Shouldn't have any issues there. And that's going to make that way more comfortable. Whenever he comes and brings that triaxle, I'll bring that tractor up and hold that pipe in place. That way, whenever he dumps, it doesn't, uh, doesn't push that pipe somewhere we don't want it. I think next thing I'm gonna do is see if I can't hook to this wall. See if we can't slide that whole wall out from underneath. On this side over here, we were able to get cleaned up around it, lift it with the tractor, and we put a couple braces on. So it's up off the ground right now. I think I might add a couple more braces. There's this old busted trailer sitting down here. But might hold together just enough that maybe we can get that to slide under that roof. I need to get that wall pulled out and this side lifted up as well. And if we can just kind of get that slid underneath, I think we can hook it onto the forks and roll it back there somewhere out of the way. Is it necessary? No. Is it fun? Oh, you bet. It's the best, bud. A challenge? And the potential to save a little bit of money? You're not getting better than that. Ice cream's okay though. Close second. Well, that's some mighty fancy shore in there. I'm sure that'll hold fine.
don't need to hold for long. This It's hot right here. Yeah. We're going to attempt. We're still waiting on that truckload of stone out there. And I can't hear anybody coming when I'm on the tractor and we're far enough back that I could probably miss the driver pretty easily. I don't want to do that. So we're trying to keep the tractor off so we can listen for the truck. He's supposed to be here any minute. Let's see if we can't uh, slide this canopy back. We built it out here where we have room. We're going to slide it back in that hole just a little bit. Eventually this will all get covered with something. Not today though. Today is just moving day. Oh, really dried out in here nice now that it's covered. Those don't look too bad. I know those feet are stuck in there. That's gonna be, yeah, no problem. Uh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Where are we going? I'm gonna go straight back and I'm stuck. <laughs> you wanna... Okay, well, let's see where that's at. Came back out here to wait by the because I was told the stone should be here real soon. And then I was told shortly after that it probably wouldn't be for a couple more hours and I'm gonna be out here in a couple more hours. So the stone's not coming today. That's a bummer, but I'm going to take this rock here and go ahead and get this covered up. That way nobody tries to steal the culvert at least.
didn't even break the shovel. Huh, that's not bad. So we got that lifted up high enough that it's got pressure off of all this other stuff that was in there. Got a little bit of a roll on that, but it's not too bad. We're gonna build a little bit of a brace so we can set this down. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get all that stuff out of the way and then try to get that trailer rolled under there. Nice little salvage haul out of here. A little This guy, not. I'm gonna start working that uh, start working that trailer up here, I guess. Hey, use whatever you need to rebuild it, man. I'll use it all the time. <laughs> It'll it's just gonna right under there, you know. No, I no problems at all. All right, so we did a little reinforcing on the very nice trailer here. I, that's, I wouldn't worry about that. We got these runners running down the middle, which isn't the optimal place for them, but that's where we got them. I did add a quick little cross brace there. Hopefully keep the top from doing this number. We'll come over the tractor, lift this side up, see if we can't slide her underneath. Screw that to those runners and hook up to the chain on the other side and see what we get.
So now we kind of got it in position. He's going to bring his four-wheeler around. We've got a chain running through that we just threw it through so we don't have to get underneath the thing. We're going to see if we can't uh, hook this to his four-wheeler and slowly pull this dolly into place. I called it a dolly like it's made for this. I don't know. Go real slow. Just real slow, just easy. We'll just go real easy. Tony. Don't be afraid to give her a little run to start there. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I mean, you know, worst case scenario, we burn it. Like a gentle one though, you know? Yeah. Just, yeah, like just. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Do, do that one more, yeah, do it again. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going, you're doing good. The hills are caught off. All right, hold on. Well, there's the problem. The daggone wheels aren't balanced anymore. A uh, new plan, I'm just gonna lift that a little higher and just brace it a little higher so we can take the tractor out and just pull the tractor so we get that thing centered up better. Yeah, it's no doubt there. It is definitely the best shelter house dolly placement I've seen. Um, all right then. That's honestly not bad. Yeah. Come on, Bill, show that. Oh, you all right? Yep.
of tires. Let me sit on the two by four. <laughs> well, I don't know about sit on it. We can hang a block on each side of it. Get us some center blocks. Yeah. So it is off of where the cabin was, which means we've got everything kind of sorted out. Scrap metal, scrap metal, and it's to the point where he can kind of pick through this now. And uh, we're gonna have to get a roll-off dumpster like we talked about. He's gotta get a roll-off dumpster whenever everything dries out later. And then all the stuff that gets thrown away will get thrown away, but looking pretty good. And I know a lot of people wouldn't go through the trouble for this, but there's some money in there. Some six by six posts. Some holes in the ground, a little bit of sacrete. Trim this edge off with a skill saw on both sides, new fascia board. You got yourself a shelter house, bud. And he wants to put it kind of right up in here. So we're just halting there because we're out of the way of the cabin cleanup and then out of the way of where he wants to put the shelter so we can auger some holes in. We're gonna throw some braces on here and then we gotta move that wood stove, I think. Definitely a bummer about this stone, but I've already talked to him. Hopefully the next video or next day I'm off, we'll be able to get another 20 tons and get that polished off. It's in place, it's good, it's ready for the next step. That little shelter house is up and where he wants it and anchored down. And he's already putting it to good use, so it's fantastic. And we've got pretty much everything sorted out and that roof saves for future use. I know, a lot of people wouldn't do the things we're doing and that's fine. A lot of people aren't us and I'm not too worried about. Next video is gonna be like a day in the life of a homestead YouTuber because we're finishing up videos here. So I got some loose ends to tie up and we're just going around and getting a whole bunch of stuff ready for future videos like the 555 and actually some stuff from my wife's channel because she's getting ready to kick back off um get the get her channel up and going again so a lot of cool stuff coming that'll be the next one 
That's it. I thought I had something full of wisdom. I'm going to help him get his four-wheeler loaded up, get back and get this edited, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.